We've got our lead commentator, a guest analyst, who is with me for the rest of the programme and who's going to be sharing his thoughts and perspective on the news and issues, including, including those covered on this programme today. And our commentator is Arise News Analyst and former chairman of the editorial board of Daily Trust newspaper, Mahmoud Jaga. Great to see you, Mahmoud. Thank you. Uh, we started this programme with... Uh, uh, Dumebi Kachuku, who is the APC, ADC presidential candidate, um, he's just won a court case mm. and he's storming back into the election mm. proper. Um, how do you assess parties like that? Well, uh, by his own admission, uh, it is one of the small uh, uh, parties, not usually regarded as one of the big ones. And then they had all this problem, uh, and it looked like the presidential candidate and the party chairman were on different uh, camps. So that was a lot of mess, which has just been cleared because the court has uh, reaffirmed the party wing that he supports. Mm. So that makes him a bit uh, stable. And he did say, uh, whereas uh, they are kind of small in relation to some of the big parties, and do not have the resources, but they will concentrate on the message, which they believe should make the difference in the two months remaining of the campaign. And that is uh, interesting. He, he has a sharp uh, focus mm. on what he should be doing. Yes, he, mm. he, he did come across as being quite lucid mm. uh, in my assessment. Now let's turn mm. to Daniel Bouala of the PDP. Mm. I mean, Daniel came in to respond to some very caustic remarks, if I might say so myself, that were made by a uh, Kenneth Okonkwo on this program yesterday mm. um, about the the allegations of corruption against uh, Atiku Abubakar, the PDP, and so on. And he was trying to sort of justify um, or, or to make the argument that the PDP should have, that really that the Donyo Kupe didn't have any, you know, wasn't guilty of anything mm. uh, apart from the fact that, you know, he simply took money the way that the PDP gave him money. Mm. Uh, what, what's your assessment of, of the two sides of that sort of Well, uh, uh, Daniel Boala made uh, uh, very interesting explosive defense this mm. uh, evening. And he is absolutely right because the main thing that people cite to say that Atiku is corrupt is the testimony of former president mm. of Asanjo under whom he served. But because Bwala is a lawyer, as he said, nobody has a right to call anybody a criminal mm. unless if he was convicted by a court uh, of law. And all those words that uh, former president of Asanjo used, is corrupt, is this and that, is unreliable, is this and that, all those were really political statements, and they could be directly linked to his angst that Vice President Atiku Abakal did not support his third term mm. ambition. And that fight started from there. We were all witnesses to it as newsmen and we were uh, reporting on it. And it's also not a surprise, as Daniel Bola uh, pointed out, that uh, President Obasanjo said the same things about uh, the APC candidate Bola Tinubu, that mm. he is the worst politician and this and that. And we all knew uh, the altercations that they had when Obasanjo was president and uh, yeah, uh, Tinubu was governor of Lagos, mm. uh, they had uh, this uh, disagreement over the creation of uh, local government mm. areas and Obasanjo stopped the Lagos uh, state local government allocations for many years until President El Adua came and, uh, and uh, released them. Yeah. Exactly. So it is true that he doesn't want either of these people to mm. become president because he has made uh, career enemies of the, of the two of them. I agree absolutely with what uh, Bwala said, that what President Obasanjo wrote in his book uh, should not be lent mm. any credit, with respect to these two mm. persons. Now, yes. Nevertheless, somewhere else, um, mm. Obasanjo also said Mr. Abubakar has changed political parties more than a prostitute changes partners. I mean, does, does he have a point? That one is closer to the <laughs> truth. <laughs> that one is closer to the truth, but it's not just uh, Atiku Abakar in Nigeria. Since yeah. 1999, we have seen whenever the major parties hold primaries, many of those who didn't win at various levels, they easily cross over to another party and back. It is a terrible feature of Nigerian politics it is true that Atiku Abakar is guilty of that because there are some people who never changed uh, mm. parties in that way, including Mr. Tinibu 
and also President Buhari, you know, they only changed parties by way of merger, mm. uh, probably, but they never crossed over. There are a few people like that in Nigerian politics, but probably the majority of Nigeria. I mean, like most of the people in the APC who became governors in 2015 were PDP mm. uh, people. Even most of the members of the party's National Executive Committee people pointed out that all these were former PDP people. Mm. And the same thing, many of them went back to it also. It is a terrible feature of Nigerian politics, actually. Mm. But as you look at all these things mm. now, with two months or so to go before mm. the election, I mean, the, the gloves are off, aren't they? These, these are knuckle punches, and they're getting more painful. Mm. Well, we wished that the discussion and the debate on the issues would have been stepped up by now, you mm. know, so that we have solid alternative solutions. What do we do about insecurity? about the poor economy, about education and health and all that. But instead, unfortunately, as you said, it is the, the brass knuckles uh, that get more problems. But sometimes it also has to do with the media culture because uh, newspapers and the electronic media, yeah. they tend to jump on Focus onto, on those Aha, yeah. those ones, they make more... But in fairness, uh, it's also about the right to reply. I mean, if somebody yeah. says that you're, uh, you know, that somebody is this, that, or the other thing, yeah. we have to give the other person an opportunity no, to as respond. You do, I mean, that is the absolutely yeah. professional thing to do. What Mr. Okonko said yesterday, mm. it is very important that you bring Mr. Bwala to today, balance it. To balance it, yes, mm. it's very important, yes. Well, of course, Mahmoud, you are the former chairman of the editorial board mm. of Daily Trust newspaper, so you know a thing or two about proper journalism. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. Mahmoud Jager, Arise News Analyst.